Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer, as we carry on our playthrough of Thea, The Awakening, Return of the Giants, DLC. Now in the last episode we had found out that our giants had wandered off, <laughs> they had wandered quite far, um, but we were going after the Cosmic Tree. So, we want to take some of our best some of our brightest, strongest. Eh. Get rid of you. Ah. <gasps> Thought you could have another ability. Well, not ability, but item. I mean, that. Why not? Why not? Okay, I think everyone was equipped. I know I still have items that have not been handed out exactly, but most of them are pretty rubbish. Yeah, we shouldn't have a problem. Oh, why not give that to anyone? It's because so many people have got really good swords. Like, huh. But that gives you poison, that's really good. Is that just for the attractiveness? It's just for the oh, it's the weight. Okay, I think I know. I haven't. I think I know why I haven't. Well, sadness. It was because of weight. If okay. your sword, good. Range and dex. Ah, never mind. Right, so, to create an expedition. Now we're going after the Cosmic Tree. So I do want a good group with us. First things first. Now. You're actually the better ones. You will come with us because you have got ridiculous shielding. We'll take another medic with us. Now I actually want a ridiculous number of people. Absolutely ridiculous. We don't need to worry too much. Um, crafters... I'll take a couple with us. None of our amazing ones. Take you with us. Now one of you, you, you're actually quite good. Oh, but aren't you just another wizard? Mage. You're the same class. Sage or a witch. Oh, we'll take you... <clears throat> we'll take an elf. I suppose we'll, we might as well. We're going to take two.
Three that. We're going to take three dwarves. We're going to take Baba Yaga, the Lich, the Lyo, and we'll take the Shade. Now, this is a massive group. This is gigantic. Oh, no, actually, it's not. Yes, it is. Did I take Barbie Yaga? Yes. But we'll also take the Orc. Because the Orc can have special events happen. Obviously, if you bump into a group of Orcs and you've got an Orc, well, they're going to think you're less hostile. Like sometimes. Not all the times. We're going to take some veg. This may take us a while. And yes, we may get some resources when we're up there, but I'll try and keep that to a minimum. Let's take five poppy seeds. I'm going to take some meat. Two. Other stuff. Do, 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 do. So much food that we must take for our exploration. It too. I don't really know where I was going with that. Not anywhere far. Right. I believe that's enough. Create the expedition. Oh, we've got seven movement. Going. I've got 25 people in this group. Oh, we've only got 16 days worth of food. The whole land is shaken. Yes, Many yes, people yes. get bruised and thrown about. Yes, yes, yes. We know. We know. The giants are walking about. Or they're humping. Either way. I'm not quite sure. It could be one or the other. Or both. Is possible. Oh, I should have gone there. Oh well. Oh wait, no, no, no. Set upon by a small group of rugged-looking dwarves, their faces are scarred as if they cut off their beards with their axes, which they probably did. Their clothes are worn and their eyes hungry. Only their weapons remain in perfect condition. The last remnant of their bygone heritage. One steps up and spits before speaking. Money, or we'll kick your teeth in now. Hmm. <laughs> Well, 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 we can talk about The lead dwarf spits and grunts at you. Less talking, more doing, my hummy friends. I got little patience for talk. Talk about it. Uh, four bandits, we can... Your men stand firm, showing off their strength and confidence. The dwarf leader listens to you, then speaks. Today you shall eat well and sit with mm -hmm. us by the fire, so that all of us may see tomorrow. The dwarves look relieved at their leader's words. We just share some food. You share a meal by the fire and exchange stories of woe and victory. One of the bandits stands up and speaks. So be it. We shared bread, we spoke by the fire, we leave as friends. May we meet again. The dwarves leave. We have a town. It's just over there. We have lots of dwarves. Come live with us. Help rebuild Fia. No, no. Would have had more dwarvy allies, but no, the game wouldn't allow it. Oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Ah, glorious. I didn't say we were coming here to get items. I mean, to do. However. I don't see any problem with us just attempting to get a little bit more. An ickle. Ah. Wait, what? Who's over equipped? Ah. 
Department. Ah, it does tell you. What? Oh, you bastard. Did you have a blessing of strength on? And I didn't see it. Oh. Oh. This, oh, you can't actually wear your armor. Oh, your armor would actually be everything, right? Sword. Shield. One of you must have. Oh, no, you don't. Who has... An item of strength? Any of you? I should have made more dragon artifacts. Like the sashes. And oh god damn it. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh, you... Okay, well take off your cool armor. I guess lose one will. Oh you 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 find your way back to the elven guardian, Alicia, oh. and discover him sitting on a rock, meditating. He's no. I need to reserve my life. Yes, yes, fine. Well, how the bloody hell were we supposed to know that this was you? Not like you could have put elf something. You enter the ruins of an old city, steeped in a low-hanging mist and a strong smell of decay. Elven magic guides you towards an unassuming rubble of stones. But as you look closer, you see trapdoors leading underground. Go in. There is a long, dark tunnel filled with cobwebs and dust. The air is dry and heavy. Finally, you come into an imposing underground chamber, and in the distance, you see a one-eyed dragon. The beast seems almost like a statue, although you see faint signs of breathing. On a pedestal behind the creature, you see five silver pieces of tree bark. These must be the cosmic tree shards. Um... Um, only a four skull. Oh no, that's just five. If we... Okay, let's talk to him. As you stand there, about to start talking, the dragon wakes and speaks. Come in, come in. I am ever so bored. We must converse. Hi. So, how are things? Such well-mannered humans, how wonderful. Well, as I said, I am rather bored. You see, I am bound to remain here by a pesky spell until these here cosmic tree shards are picked up by the rather rude mage. Only, you see, I think he's forgotten all about it. Or perhaps he's just being rude. I do hate rude people. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. I don't suppose you could... Uh, we could take them instead and free you. Oh, how very nice of you to think of me. It would be a splendid idea, only I really cannot, on account of the spell and all. Okay. Well, you know there's been an apocalypse, and the city above is pretty dead. So... Maybe he is too? Hmm, an interesting conundrum. I am honor bound to obey this spell, though. You know, the mage you speak of is long, is no longer with us, but we were sent here to free you from this spell. And oblig. oblig. oblig Obligation. Oh. Oh, I don't know. You don't look or smell like him. I suppose I can sense magic on you. So if you can take the spell off, I guess I have no reason to doubt you. Oh, you know, 
you might be right. It's not. It's best not to meddle with the mage's work. You said you were on a bound to obey the spell. Um. No, no. Let's try and do the heck. I did take some magic off my. Five eleven. I well that's un I also didn't bring that many ma mages with un I Ellis doesn't really have any you don't really have any what good are you as you can hit max you only have one magic which You don't have any magic. Eight for Stormund. Two for the Orc. Seventeen for Barbie Yaga. Nine. Seven. I think we can do it. <clears throat> I think we can. Player's turn. Excellent. Um you out there with a 12. Let's get you out there, Stormund. I believe you'll get health back every time you attack. Yes. Okay. Let's put you in. No, no. You in, because you will go first. Do you have any other spears? No. Let's go with you. 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 I'm just seeing if we lost any good ones. Eh, we lost a couple of. Let's put the shade in. Win. In. How much health have they got? They haven't got that much health, really. So, we should be okay. Any other spears? No. Get closer. And then that will do. I can't see them beating us. I just can't even see it. At least they can't. Surely they can't do two rounds of combat. Would I even get to an attack? Oh, yeah, one of them got to attack, I think. Oh, yep, yeah, look, Barbie Yaga took some damage. Quite a lot, actually. Barbie Yaga might actually end up. You broke the spell. The dragon looks at you, tilting its head and blinking his one eye. Well, well, well. I suppose you must have been sent by him. No mere villager would break this magic. Wonderful. Well, since you were sent by him, here are your shards. But I simply cannot let my saviors go without something extra. So here's a drop of my precious blood, and with it, my blessing. Those deemed worthy by the ancient spirits will learn the winds of dragon magic. Now fare thee well, my friends. Oh, wait. Our Gavra learned dragon magic? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's just... As you climb back up from the tunnel, you notice someone was observing you from the distance. They stand up and look at you, waving for you to come over. But then they walk off, as if asking to follow them. Okay. Odd. How much movement do we have left? We have three. 
Well, I'm going to go and get the item. A bit of a swine like that. You find the remnants of a great old city in ruins. The mysteries it holds could be vast, but beware. It looks as if the dead walk in great packs inside. Sure. You were about to move some rubble that obstructed an entrance to a building when the rubble rises and attacks you. Two arms! Ooh, a rock troll and a rocker. We'll actually fight this. Because I don't know how good they are. I know we've got a rocker. Oh my god. Okay. You're a little bit stronger than I thought. So I've got three cards that can go up. So, who has... Ah, oh, but you have such good first action. And the issue is it's going to do a lot of damage. I guess I could do it with first action. Also true. Um. You. Oh no, I can do it with first action. Let's not bother. And let's play... Face it, if I play Stormund and Ellis, they're basically going to kill that thing off. In fact, I probably don't need both of them. Are hey, you? We'll see if we can get people at the back. Okay, so it was the Rock Troll. That is the dangerous one. Let's place you. And you. Then first action you. And then yeah, first action him. Because those cards aren't even going to get a chance to go. So we'll get them up there. That troll is put be a smear well no it won't be a smear it'll be dust on the wind I wish our trolls could level up to could not level up but evolve bring a bit of Pokemon shall we evolve to become rock trolls right and now just because I want to take the piss a bit <clears throat> first action First action. That'll do. I think our dwarves are going to take out one and a half each. Oh well, if they even get a chance to. And over. I thought it said undead as well. And find a hidden treasury nearby. All right, that's good. Give me the loot. Right. Let the turn go by, and then we're going to go and see these people. See what they want. As you look around and admire the world, you see something of interest in the distance. You spot a group of travelers trekking through the land. They look like nomads. Okay. Fair enough. Might go and see them. You catch up to the people that were spying on you, and they turn out to be a mixed group, made out of orcs, goblins, and humans, but also with a few creatures that look more like demons than anything else. That's fine. We have demons on our team. It's not. An orc woman walks up to meet you. Her weapon is not drawn, but you do see she's very tense around you. Okay. Hi there. I noticed you were watching us earlier. Back in the ruined city. Well, it's not exactly spying when we stand there in the open now, is it? Obviously, we wanted your attention. One of her people coughs loudly. Eh? Sorry. I get a bit narky when I'm nervous. The name's Tilda. And back there, you have my rather unique tribe. We were watching your progress in regards to the Cosmic Tree Seed. 
Huh. And how do you know about that? Well, what you're doing is the big stuff, and word gets around, especially if you know where to listen. Our forest kinsfolk heard the ruckus you caused in the old mad Lishi's Grove, and then we've been watching this here place for a time, and here you are. You haven't told me why. What's your interest here? I'm not a talker, so I'll try to be brief and to the point. You spoke to the elf, we know that. Perhaps you spoke to the elderly human in the tower. So, you know that one way or another, you humans devised or caused the burning of the cosmic tree? Yes, that's what the elf told us. No, yes, that seems to be the consensus. Hmm, yeah. I don't really care which version is true, but I do care that the tree remains as it is now. What? Hmm. It would be easy to say that because we were made to serve the Dark Lords of the Westerlands. We now seek some evil dominion, but it is not so. We are not evil, at least no more so than any creature trying to live and survive. Do you know how many millions of lives will be lost if you were to destroy the Cosmic Tree? Or even if you regrow it, we will be hunted, picked on and killed off, just like always. We do not seek to murder or enslave or take power, just to live in peace. Nice words, but just... But you just said you want the darkness to return, right? Yes, I did. But not because it is evil. It is not. Well, okay, it has evil side effects, I grant you that. We've all struggled during the hundred years. We've all been close to extinction. But finally, we managed to create a balance of sorts. The sun is back, but not in its full strength. The tree is alive, sort of, so we have magic. And thus, we live on, but in a new world. You say you managed to achieve a balance? Yes, it was us, the so-called creatures of darkness that saved the last seed of the tree. In doing so, we saved ourselves and all that is magical. Yet we do not have to give power back to the elves and high lords and ladies who forever seek to dominate us. In this grey area, we are finally free. Our mother Mokosh weeps at the state of her beloved Thea. And you seek to keep it as it is? Never. Mother Mokosh is kind and a caring parent. But... You have soiled her, Thea, with filthy darkness, curses, and the undead roaming everywhere. You will not stand for it, ever. Hmm. These are both good ones, in my opinion. Um. Um. Um, let's go with this one. Mother Mokosh is a kind parent. Um, uh, with filthy darkness. We hoped even you could see reason, but it was a false hope. We leave you to your doomed path. So we can attack. You know what? In the name of Mokosh. We will banish you. I don't like that. I don't think Mokosh is that evil. If I played a fighty god, sure, we'd go all blood and glory, but... We must walk our own path. Not be a slayer of all. Ugh. It's too skull, it'll be... Not a problem, boy. Oh. Water resolve? Huh. Fair enough. Oh, you've come over to us. Well, that's handy. That saves me some time. A group of nomads is traveling through these lands. They are a mixed group made up of all peoples of Easterlands, including men, goblins, and orcs. 
A few of them break away from the group and walk towards you. They are armed, but their weapons are not drawn. However, you do spot some archers eyeing you up as well. The nomads raise their hands and speak. Greetings, fellow travelers. May we speak? Greeting travelers. Uh, yes, let's talk. We are merely passing by and mean you no harm. Our people have survived together on the journey for many years now, and we do not seek to abandon our path. We are, however, in need of resources, and in exchange, we have goods to offer. We have food we can barter. Food. Yes, we always need food. We do not farm, and hunting is ever a risk. For some food you can spare, we can trade you some good wood and string. You will lose 20 food. Cool. Wonderful. May the journey keep you safe, and may the road be ever clear, traveller. Huh. Uh. Not great. Elven. Elvenwood is not exactly something we are lacking. Um. Now. I am going to come up and get some get some ancient wood. I know I said I wasn't really here to get resources. Grab some grass. But the simple fact is, is that if I stay here for two turns and get ten wood, we're in a good position. I can make another sword. I might be able to make a two-handed sword. I don't think I have any. Excuse me, I'm Lighting back hiccups at the moment. They really do want to uh, stop me from talking. I will not allow it. You know what? Let's just use some dark wood. We have we have too much. Get on there. I want to try and ooh, save that. Oh, actually. Oh no, we can't. Was that any good? A little bit annoying. Mind. That forever. Out. Uh, let's come over to the pies because we can make more fruit pies, which are fairly good. Type of ugh seaweed and seaweed and cherries. Ugh. I I just don't imagine that would be all that nice. It might be wrong. Oh, do we not have any more? Oh. The the demon bear can help the rocker. He can crush the the goods together. I did say I wanted. Ooh, 12. We have enough. Oh no, it's dragon bone. I was thinking, do we have enough to be able to make. Uh, what does that make? Oh, it's the healing wood. I'm really not that massive of a fan of. That's good, but it's not good enough. I yeah, I we don't have any drag bones, but what we do have is oh Bad, it's not amazing. That's better. Yes. I think gold's actually better. So let's make. And I was going to have a look to see if we had enough ancient wood. I think we do. Ah, oh, if only I had some more. Sadness. 
We don't have any of the high tier stuff that we would want. Judas. Yes. What would that make? Oh, I just make one of them. Okay, we won't make that. We shall save it. Okay. And... Right. Uh, do 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 do. Cool. Let's go one more. Oh no. <laughs> no. Uh, cool. We have ten. I'm more than happy with that now. I know we needed dragon bite. You notice a faint glow amongst the forest shrubbery and discover luminous wild mushrooms growing in a perfect circle. These shrooms could have many uses, either as medicine or just food. But you do have an eerie feeling when you stand close to the luminous circle. Okay, I've never seen this event before. Um, speak to the forest. Hear me, forest spirits. I wish your kin no harm, but I ask for a boon. From your people. You know this circle is a sacred place for forest spirits and guardians. It is not wise to anger them. The forest goes eerily quiet, then a faint whisper floats in the wind. Why should we grant you any boons, human? We are children of fear. Are we not? And the wolves I don't care about. But, mm, I have no idea what days are. Let, let's do this one. Just noticed there's a hand there shaking. You. You. Heavy hitters straight out. Oh wow, you're. You're ridiculously good at talking. Oh wow, this was a mistake. I should have auto resolved this. Immediately. I just wanted to see what some of the uh, creatures did. It's not enough, trust me. Trust me, it's not enough. You, you can't win. Give up. Even with all the dingo doggos that you have, you can't Oh, okay, so that's what that thing is. It might have been really good in combat, who knows. Uh, we're looking for first actions. Ooh. We don't have that many first action. I, uh, I just really don't see. Oh, actually, I suppose if I put you in, you can at least stab them before. Congratulations! Managed to confuse a couple of my people. I mean, how about I do the same to you? not be it. I am a bastard. Yep, just keep moving up. Let's stop all of their cards from doing anything, just because why not. Again, really probably didn't need that many cards, but if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it right. <laughs> oh well, they got a attack on us. I don't think it's literally got enough, enough to save them, but it might be. Hmm. 
Mm. So I think this is probably going to be a complete mm. playthrough in that mm. we aren't we aren't just going for the uh, for the giants DLC content. Might as well. <laughs> you lay out your case before the is forest, that it? and for a while you consider if there is anyone listening. But finally, one of the trees reaches out to you, bearing gifts. Not good enough. I should have just killed you. One. Eight. An insult. You find your way back to the elven guardian, Alicia, and discover him sitting on a rock, meditating. He still looks very weak, but as you walk towards him, he wakes and looks at you. So you have what we need? Yes, but I have some questions. Later. Let us make the compass while I have the strength. All right. Give him the shards. Alicia stretches out his arms for you to hand him the shards. When you do, he closes them in his palms and begins to sing. You do not understand the language, but his voice is soft as a whisper on the wind. Each word feels like a flower petal gently caressing your skin, and the melody carries in the air like a sweet smell of home-baked cakes or your mother's smile. When the song stops, you feel your souls lifted with joy, and you see a silver acorn in Alicia's hands. The acorn has a blue light on its top, and it points in one direction wherever you move it. Hmm. So this is it? This will lead us to the seed? The elf speaks, but you can barely hear him. His body has become almost transparent. Yes, this will lead you. I would go myself, but you see how much strength this has cost me, so it is up to you now. Beware, now that the compass is made, I feel a great power resides in the direction it points to. Make sure you're ready to face whatever hides at your journey's end before you go. Okay, but I have a question. Of course. I will try to answer anything you ask. Uh, actually, I know all I need. Off we go. Alright, but I need to ask you about the Sage's Tower. And what we found there. Okay, so what is your question? We met an old sage in the tower, and he told us the fall of the tree was done on purpose to help mankind. Interesting. And why on Thea would they do this? Oh. We've already done this, haven't we? Uh, to rid the world of magic. Uh, I've already asked this question. Though. Of course. We're off. Good, good. Now go and help secure a future for both Thea and mankind. I will try to follow you in spirit and offer aid if possible. But for now, have my blessing. Huh. Okay. <laughs> More talk for Oh, I love that. I love that. How far away is it? Ooh, that far. Well... This group is the strongest group that we're going to have. So, ah, oh, can I not? As the night veils the sky and stars shine down upon you, a mysterious traveler seeks your company. Your male companions are protesting something, but you do not really care what they say. The visitor is tall, dark, handsome. Right, to fight! You can feel a strong spell upon you, and you know it will take hold. <laughs> Two. Portrait. You broke the spell. And suddenly, you see the streaker's true nature. His face, once handsome, now seems monstrous and twisted. His mouth filled with sharp teeth still smiles at you, but you are no longer fooled. He sees this and tries to retreat, although you feel he is very powerful still. See, now I'm going to let him run, because for one, he might join us. Chance. Eh. Should have killed him. Odds. Now... Do we... Uh, there's no point us waiting. We're as powerful as we're going to get at this moment in time. Yes, we could have some more armors, which would probably... We could probably get some more armors, which would help. But not a massive. Our people are pretty... Yeah, Dragonbone would be pretty helpful. But... Ugh. It would take us forever to get it, so...
and right. We are there. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode off there because I'm a bastard. Yes, yes, yes. Right where we're about to finish off and do the cosmic tree. Yeah, I'm going to end it. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to the next one where we will be possibly coming to the end of uh, the cosmic tree quest. And that would normally be the end of the game, I think. I don't know of any other big quests that were left for us except from uh, the the giants. So we'll be heading on to that uh, straight after. So I hope you've enjoyed and uh, are looking forward to the next episode. And you'll, uh, you'll join me then. So take care everyone. And as always, bye-bye for now.